Maybe I should go see Dawn, ask if Lang's awake yet. Thank you for <laughs> for the direction. Oh, she doesn't say anything about it. I have no reason to be pulling apart paintings. Besides, I can't do it with my bare hands. It's attached to the wall. All right, fine then. She looks weirdly like me. Uncannily so. That's so cool. I should ask Dawn about her sometime. Oop. The canvas looks lumpy. Like there's something behind it. Let's burn it. Nah. All right. <laughs> Probably for the best. Maybe I should go see Dawn, ask if Lang's awake yet. Yeah, I, I get it. You're, you're, stu you're super pushy about that, you know? It has not been an hour. Just thought I'd point that out. There's no way. All right. Hey, Dawn. Hey. Evening, miss. Any sign of our doctor friend? Well, I tried to wake him, but it was out cold. It seemed unkind to shake him awake. I could go get some cold water if that'd help. <laughs> Can you imagine? I'm imagining it now. And trust me, it's tempting. Anyway, Don, I wanted to ask you a question. Well, ask away. But first, I have one on my own. Shoot. You called me by name just then. Why? Uh, isn't that what people do? I never told you my name, Missy. Pretty sure you did. Reckon I didn't. Anyway, it's no matter. Just something to think on, is all. Maybe a little bird told you. How strange. I'm sure you must have mentioned it. Anyway, I wanted to ask about that picture in the corridor. I noticed it as I went past. You mean the one of old Gloria? No, the other one. The portrait. The young woman? Oh, I. Her. Yep. Who was she? I couldn't help but notice the similarities. To who? Me. Don't say you can't see it. Oh, aye, now you mention it, she does bear a striking resemblance to you. Then again, you all look the same to me after I've had a drop of whiskey. Creepy. <laughs> Who was she? Don't rightly know. She came with Gloria. Maybe she's someone's daughter. Well, yeah, I imagine she was. <laughs> Most women are a daughter I was, I was about point. to say that. Aye, you're a daughter, I imagine. Well, yeah. What? Grew up around your uh, dad, did Okay. You? Uh, can we, like, not talk about my father right now? He kind of passed away very recently. Oh, aye. Sorry, lass. I'm sorry for your loss. Uh, it's okay. I knew it was time. He was my stepfather, but I loved him like a dad. He loved me like a daughter, too. At least up until he stopped recognizing me. What about your mom? Are you and her still close? Still? Well, I assumed... Uh, you assumed wrong. We were never close. I'm sure that's not true now, lassie. I'm sure everything she did had your best interests at heart. Hang on. Hang on. You don't know anything about Is her. Is Don her father? Or me, for that matter. Look, I'm sorry. This conversation's creeping me out, okay? Oh, lassie. I... Uh... Ah, balls. There we go. Into the tunnel. No idea why old Gloria craps out every damn time here. Settle down. We're in this for the long haul. What? Uh, how long till the lights come back on? Huge tunnel. Gonna be a good 15 minutes. I've got a candle here, but nothing to light it with. Well, here you go. Yeah, is Don her father? She said that he looks familiar... And he asking he's asking a lot of family questions. I'm just curious. Here, use this lighter. Good work, lass. Must have given my matches to that funny fella in 2B. He likes to play with fire, so he does. Well, that sounds astonishingly unsafe. <laughs> it's alright. I told him to be on his best behavior. It's not every day we have guests. This is a passenger train. Is it? What? Whoa. What? Where the hell did he go? Something's not right about him. Something's not right about this place. Fuck it. I'm going to knock on Lang's door. That was, that was, uh, that was well executed. I 
better not tamper with the machinery. Some kind of control panel for something on the train. Engine room door, is that what it says? It's cut off. I assume that's what it says. This door leads to the engine room and the cab. I wonder what the driver's like. Oh, that's... Actually, do I really want to know? I'm guessing you won't go in there then. I probably shouldn't go in there. Besides, it's almost certainly locked. I bet you'll find out later it's not. A compartment door. I can't hear anything. Right. All right, let's knock. No response. It's locked. Fuck it. I should go see if Lydia's okay. All right then. Uh, sure. Man, I was hoping we we could get to uh, walk around with the candle. I like how their portraits changed uh, to ones that were lit by the candle. That was a nice touch. Huh? It's locked. Uh, Lydia, you in there? Lydia? Shit. I need to get the door open somehow. Uh, break it open with the fire extinguisher. Nothing's burning just okay. now. Okay. Yeah, you don't have to do that. Um, do we have anything in the purse? Nah. Okay. Uh, go see Floyd. Maybe he has an idea. What? Uh, Rob? Alex, hello. You came. They said you would. You promised you'd call. You never called. Why didn't you call, Alex? Rob, it's the middle of the night. Wait, what the fuck? Did you follow me here? Why are you on the goddamn train? Oh, Alex, come on. I've always been there for you, haven't I? When Gavin left you, when your dad died, when you were getting those threatening phone calls. Oh, God. I forgot about that. Exactly. So why wouldn't I be here now when you need me again? You're... You're right. Okay, fuck it. Pretty sure I've passed out and I'm dreaming this, but whatever. I'll run with it. Why do I need you right now? The earth crawls, Alex. The sepulchre thunders towards its destination, like worms burrowing through the soil. From the skies, the predator swoops. Zap! Feast upon the eyes of God. Darkness. Silence. Then a sudden scream pierces the night. Rob, you're scaring me. I'm sorry. I'm getting caught up in the moment. I should go back to my compartment. Come and find me there when you're done with the girl. Lydia, I never told you about her. Slice the girl away, Alex. Look at her insides. Go to belly. Find the key. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? This is some fucked up, trippy nightmare shit. There's something on the table. Of course there is. Oh my god. A steak knife. It looks recently used. Oh, there's blood on it. I might need this. Yeah, we're not gonna cut open the girl with it. That's for sure. Hey, okay. He's not here again. Uh, Floyd, that is. Mr. The Shining over there. Okay. Uh, is it unlocked now? Huh. It's locked. Okay, maybe we use the knife to open up the door? Nah. No? Uh... Maybe we can use this to... No. Nah. Okay. Oh, let's, uh, let's cut open the painting. That's what we do. Right, she said it was lumpy. I completely forgot. Hmm. There's something here. Obviously. Weird. There's a key here. Oh. It says it's the key to 2A. That's what he meant by cut her belly open, find the key. All right. It's the key to 2A. To 2A? All right. Uh. Hey. Hey, Alex. Hey, birthday girl. Where'd you get to? Uh, uh Sophia? Fuck. 
Jesus, Sophia, it is not my birthday. Why are you here? Hey, you invited us, silly. Already drunk, I see. I've only had one Bloody Mary. Gavin was looking for you. Oh, God, what? Gavin's here? Sure. Why wouldn't he be? Pretty sure I saw you with your hands down his hands earlier, so you know. I'm surprised you've forgotten. Oh, great. Carly, too. Fuck this. Gavin is not here. <laughs> You're not here. None of this is here. None of this is real. I'm on a fucking train, for God's sake. Whoa, Alex, chill. Have you taken something? I say, yeah, don't worry about it. Alex is just being a weird, hysterical self. Fuck off, Carly. You don't need to be rude to Alex on her birthday. She's being rude to us. She's just stressed, aren't you, babe? Yes, I'm stressed. I need to get to the bottom of this. Okay, the the voice actors are all great, except I don't think Carly's very good. <laughs> don't mean to be mean, but she sounds like <laughs> she's in a very tinny room. Sophia, can I talk to you for a second? Sure. What's up? Alone. I, I can't leave, really. Carly's a bit drunk, and you know how she gets. Fuck off. I heard that. We're all friends here, Alex. You can say anything. Okay, okay, look. Where are we? Your apartment, dickhead. Where else? No, we're on a train. Okay, fuck it. I'm asleep, obviously. You need to suspend your disbelief, Al. This'll all go smoother if you just kick back and accept it. And hey! Gavin was around earlier. Why don't you go find him? Gavin and I broke up months ago. I don't want to see him. Alex, honey, what are you talking about? We broke up on... on my birthday. It's your birthday today. The big 25, or is it 26? 27, definitely. Look at her. She's no spring chicken. 27 Club A, Alex? Gonna take a hit, snort a line, shoot up, go out in a blaze of fucking glory, throw it all away? Yo, Isaiah, you got any blow? Nah, not for you. Clean and sober, remember? Well, as close as can be. Carly, what the fuck are you talking about? Oh, you fucking know what, Alex. You think you're so much better than us? Always have. Just cause you've gone through some shit, just cause you had, I don't know. Struggles? That's enough, Carly. Carly, why the fuck are you even here? Why did you even come? You clearly don't want to see me. You know what, Alex? I came for Gavin. For fucking Gavin. And you know... Carly, shut the fuck up. Ignore her, Alex. She's drunk. No. You know what? The last time this played out, I never got to say my fucking piece. And I'm done. I'm fucking done taking people's shit this time. I'm on my way to see Kat. Remember her? The girl you fucking ostracized, Carly? And we're going to chill on a fucking island and find pottery and meet Louis fucking Cassell. And your shit heel douche canoe behavior will bring me the fuck down on my birthday. Not again. Whoa. Okay, ladies. I'm gonna go head over here now. Well, come on then, Alex. Tell me how it is. Tell me how you really feel. It's been five years and you're still not over Gavin. That's fucked, Carly. Move on. Open your eyes. Jesus Christ. Alex, don't go down this road. Hey, fuck you, Alex. Alex, seriously, walk away. I'll talk to Carly. Just come back later. Fuck you both. Hey, listen, I'll talk to Carly. I'll get her to leave. It's your party and you don't deserve this. But could you do me a favor? Fine, sure, whatever. Put this somewhere safe. It keeps falling out of my purse. Well, I, I got an achievement called Mean Girls and uh, that's accurate. What is, the, what? Oh, Sophia, your roommate, right. Sophia's inhaler. She asked me to look after it. Have you forgotten what happened in the apartment when you needed it? 
Sophia is one of my best friends, but it infuriates me how much of a diplomat she is at times. Is that? That looks like Rob back there. A crowd of people. I can make out some of my friends. It's Carly. She's Gavin's ex from a long time ago. I don't know why she's here. My friend Isaiah. We went to college together. I thought he had to work late tonight. He must have clocked out early. My trusty portable radio. Only now it's on a train when it should be in my apartment. Right. I don't want to talk to these people. They're not meant to be here. Hey, Sophia. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I don't want to talk to her. All right, then. I don't want to talk to him while Carly's there. Well, then there's not really much else to do here. It's a strange, swirling vortex painted in dark watercolors. My head throbs when I look at it. Did you say vortex? Like life is strange? I have no desire to be meddling with pictures. Alright, fine then. It's a strange... Let's leave. Why do I feel so fucking sick? Oh, my chest is so tight again. Ah. Huh? The music stopped. Uh, let's go back inside then. Uh, of course. What the fuck? Where'd everybody go? A huge bag. Someone's luggage. I won't go rooting through someone's luggage without good reason. Right. It's a party hat. I remember Gavin made me wear one at the party. I was wearing it when... Uh... Well, let's take it. Fuck it. Why not? That's the spirit. That's the adventure game spirit, Alex. Yeah. Now we can scroll. This is the first time we've been able to scroll, I think. All right. A window looking out into the night. The train's moving fast. A green balloon. It's just there. Only balloon in the room. Why does this seem so familiar? Sure. Why not? Yeah. We, we got it for some reason. I have no need to carry a lantern around. Let's pop it with the knife. That sounds like fun. A boom. I don't want to pop it. Fine then. Nah. Um, let's see if we can get in. Huh? That sounds like my old ringtone. I think it's coming from the other carriage. All right. Oh, someone answer that bloody phone. That's driving me a distraction over here. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, and where'd you go earlier, Don? I think the ringing's coming from in here. Where is it? Ah, uh, here we go. There's a phone stuck in the crack. This is my old cell phone. The one I got rid of a few weeks ago. And it's ringing. Withheld number. Oh, God, not again. Hello? Hello, little porcelain girl. Oh, fuck off. Not now. Don't you dare hang up. Don't you fucking dare. I can see you right now, you know. I doubt that. I'm on... A train. Cabin 1C. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. How are you here? I'm always watching you, little porcelain girl. Always. Can't miss a chance to see those titties or maybe your... I am going to find you, and I am going to cut your cock off and shove it down your throat, you disgusting excuse for a human being. I am going to make you watch in the mirror as you choke on your own dick. And then I'll slice your fucking throat if you ever, ever call me again. Ever. I will find out who you are, and you will die. Well, okay then. And here I was about to invite you over to my compartment to party, you know, 1A, if you got the balls for it. Oh, this guy, this fucking guy. Is this, is this Gavin? Whoa, okay. Oh, damnation. I'm sorry, lass. I should have knocked. No, 
No, it's fine. I'm just a bit jumpy. I, uh, held you through the door. Nuisance calls, is it? Yeah. Dude's been calling me for the past few months. Pretty sure my ex put him up to it. It's been happening since we broke up. Ah. Surely it wouldn't do a thing like that. Well, I don't know. It makes no sense. What if he's Gavin? Gavin wasn't... isn't like that, I thought. And he denies it. But it's too much of a coincidence, right? I, Maybe. Could be anyone, though, really. Old Don believes in coincidence. Still, at least you're well away and safe on old Gloria, eh? No, he said he's here. He said he's on the fucking train. Well, that can't be. Unless your boy's a big English fellow with a stick up his ass. <laughs> no, no, it's not laying. Well, then. <laughs> I mean, I suppose it could be Lydia. What did you just say? Oh, I was kidding. I don't really think my harasser is an eight-year-old girl. You've seen young Lydia tonight? Yeah. Why wasn't I meant to disturb her? Oh, uh, no, it's fine. I just, uh, I'll look out for her, you know. Where did you see her? In the next carriage. In her compartment. Oh, well, right you are then. I should just go check on her. See if she needs anything. Wait, the guy told me to meet him in 1A. Well, there's no one in 1A. I think I'd have noticed. Well, bye. Uh, that's creepy. I don't trust you. Jesus. Okay, Alex. Don't lose it at this juncture. Nothing unexpected is happening. You know what to do. Roll with it. See it through. It's okay. Maybe it's a little more intense than you were expecting. A little more real. But you can do this. It'll be worth it. Nothing comes for free. I guess I should head to 1A. No point putting it well, what off. What about Lydia and 2C? I am really concerned about... That's carriage 2. The compartment I need is in this carriage. Alright, fine. Be linear. <laughs> uh, let's do this. I do have a steak knife. Get ready. Let's meet Gavin. What? Rob? Hey, Alex. Remember the nuisance caller? You mean Gavin? It's not Gavin, Rob. We've been over this. You know what I mean. It's his doing. It has to Wait, be. Wait, what? So you've said many times. Uh, he told me to come multiple here. Multiple personalities? Oh, trying to fuck with both of us. Great. I don't think you have anything to worry about, Rob. Alex, I've been so worried about you. Why? Just, you know, everything that's been going on with you. Gavin, your father, the stalker. I care about you a lot, Alex. I've told you about my daughter, right? Yeah. Yeah, you have. You remind me of her, you know? Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, Rob. Missing. Disappeared. I never did find out who took her. If she's still alive. I know. I know. It must be terrible. My dad, my real dad, I mean, he walked out on my mom when I was six months old. She never found out what happened to him. Keith raised me like his own. He loved me like a daughter. I called him dad. But I always wondered, you know? And now Keith's gone too. <laughs> Look at us. We're a right pair, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, we are. <laughs> I'm so worried, Alex. When I was in your apartment earlier and, and you were just lying there on the couch, it didn't look like you were breathing. I thought... I thought I'd lost you. No, I was... Wait. Wait, what? No. It's making me say things I don't want to say. What? What is... The worm! The worm inside my head, burrowing away inside my brain, wriggling like a grub. Rob, stop it. Listen, focus. Why were you in my apartment? I came in. I came in and I watched you sleep. No, stop. I watched you sleep. I just watched. I didn't do anything. I always just watch. 
I watch over you. I can't let them harm you. None of those filthy fucking men. Not Gavin, not Lang, not any of them. I know what they want from girls like you. You're my little porcelain doll, Alex. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, no. Oh, Rob, no. Why? Why? It wasn't me. It was Gavin. He's a no-good, dirty boy. He just wants to use you, wants your body. You have to keep away from him, Alex. Keep away from all the dirty little boys. No. I've been watching over you all the time. And now the worm wants to eat my eyes. Stop me watching. They're trying to take my porcelain doll away from me and I won't let them. Rob, are you the one who's been calling me? Is that what you're saying? If it hadn't been me, it would have been someone else. Someone actually intent on doing you harm. I've scared you away from those dirty boys, haven't I? I've kept you safe. I've shown you how vulnerable you are. That is all kinds of fucked up. All fucking kinds. I trusted you, Rob. I let you in. I had... Uh, I had no idea. Look, they're getting to you. They're trying to take you away from me. Who is? You're not making any fucking sense. Who's taking me away from you? The dead that sleep beneath the earth. The court of the charnel house king. The worms eat the flesh, the birds eat the worms, the augurs watch the birds, the cycle of carrion rots its way towards infinity. Now, stay here with me, where it's safe. Uh, we're gonna have to kill him, aren't we? Photos of me, hundreds and hundreds of photos. Some of them are from inside of my apartment. How long has this been going on? I don't even want to look at these any longer. All right, there's an actual porcelain doll here. It's a porcelain doll. It, I think it has my hair, my actual hair. Oh my God. It looks like the uh, portrait too in the, in the train hallway. Don't you fucking touch my daughter, you tainted Jezebel! Oh my god. A window looking out into my neighbor, Rob. My stalker, Rob. You think you know someone. Let me leave. Rob, please let me pass. Please. We can forget this ever happened. I won't tell anyone. Tell anyone what? That tried to protect you. Why would anyone judge me for that? Rob, you need help. You need to talk to someone. I'll help you. I'm serious. No. I have to keep you safe. You're not going anywhere. Alright, this is what we have to do. What are you doing? Let me through, or I'll cut you. I swear to God. No, you won't. Don't fucking try me, Robert. You only call me Robert when you're upset. Well, yeah, I am fucking upset. I am upset at what you've done to me, at what you've made me endure. And why? To protect me? If you'd seen what I've seen, you'd know why, Alex. You'd know. Then tell me. Tell me what you've seen. No! I have to protect you! I could kill for a cigarette right now. What is it? Go get the knife. If I try and go for the knife, Rob will be on me in a second. Alright then. Uh, I guess we'll light up a cigarette. Rob, I'm going to smoke, okay? I need to relax. Smoking will kill you, Alex. Jesus Christ, at least let me have this one thing. You can't protect me from everything. Okay, fine, fine. Right, uh... No, 
No, I have to keep you safe. You're not going anywhere. Okay, I lit up, apparently. Burn the porcelain doll. Don't you fucking touch my daughter, you tainted Jezebel. Eh. Oh, yep, that's what we do. Nah. No, that's not what we do? We don't burn the doll? Nah. We burn... Okay, we burn the photos. Nah. We burn him. That's weird. Let's do it, I guess. Do you want a toke? I don't smoke. It's surprisingly calming. You should try it. No, I don't. Oh my fucking eye! I'm, I'm blind! You fucking eye! Rob, I feel for you. I really do. But nobody harasses me and gets away with it. 